Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a mini pick a card reading, so it'll be short and sweet to get you some quick insight into what you can expect for your finances this holiday season. So we'll see what changes, opportunities, challenges, or maybe even unexpected blessings around your money are on the horizon for you with the magic of the holidays in the air. Today we're going to be starting each of our readings from the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. So I already have three cards here from the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle for you to pick from as well as some crystals. I may pull in cards from other decks as we do each of these readings if I feel called to, but because this is a, a mini reading, we might just stick with this one deck today. I am going to give you a closer look at each of the cards here and their crystals in just a moment in case you need that clarity to help you pick. But before we do that, I have a super quick reminder for you. As always, I do not currently offer private readings to the general public. So please be aware of anyone in the comments or on other social media platforms that is pretending to be me and offering readings. Those people are not me. Please do not pay them if they're saying they're me and they have a message for you. I will never do that. The only place that I do personalize readings is inside of my Wealth Vibe membership, and that's where my members have opportunities to get personalized card pulls from me and even purchase in-depth private readings from me. So the link for the Wealth Vibe membership is in the description box below if you want to get access to that. It's an amazing community and a great way that you and I get to connect a little bit more closely in there and also gives you that option to purchase uh, private readings from me. So now we are going to take, like I said, that closer look at the cards and crystals. As I do so, just tune into which pile you are feeling most connected to or intuitively drawn to. And if you feel called to multiple piles, then watch however many of them feels aligned for you. That just means that there's probably bits and pieces of guidance in different readings that are meant for you to hear. So we have our pile number one over here. This card for pile number one is the frost card. I'll make sure we're getting a good focus. And it says, ice cold melting in time, a frozen glance at what lies behind, what lies ahead, what lies within, and the chilling frost of thy undead. So this is frost card. For pile one that also has the rose quartz crystal point. So there's pile one. Pile two is gatherings. Give you a close-up look. It says gather, gather, festive witches, speak of joy and drink to wishes. Take one, give two, celebrating all blisses. And that has the green aventurine crystal point with it. And then we have our pile three, which is reindeer medicine. Make sure we're focused here. Reindeer medicine says, journey into the depths of your soul and awakening of sights revealed. It is time for no time at all, for all is presently here. And then with that for pile three is the smoky quartz. That's your crystal. So. Go ahead and feel into which of these piles or multiple piles are calling to you and then you can navigate to that pile in the timestamps below. If you are having trouble picking, I recommend closing your eyes and seeing if a number, one, two, or three pops into your head or just go with whichever card or crystal you like the most and just trust that inner guidance. So if you need to, pause the video, take however long you need to choose and then I'll see you in the timestamps and your reading below. Hello, pile number one. You picked the frost card and the rose quartz crystal point. Now, before we dive into your reading, I have a very exciting announcement that I'm just so, I'm just so giddy to share with you. But I have recently opened up pre-sale for my new absolute abundance offering. This is a set of four incredibly potent channeled messages from source around the frequency of money and how it is currently shifting in the world. And with those four transmissions, I'm also including four exclusive card readings, similar to this one, but longer. And those will help give more practical steps that you can take to truly master wealth and the frequency of absolute abundance that's covered in those transmissions as 
we as a collective move into this new era that humanity is evolving into. And the best part is that this offer, Absolute Abundance, is 75% off through December 24th on presale. So spots are limited and after the 24th, the price doubles. So the link for that for Absolute Abundance is in the description box below. If you want exclusive channeled messages, exclusive in-depth card readings to really help you step into mastering wealth in this new era of humanity as the financial and economic and energetic landscape continues to shift over the next years and decades to come, then I would be honored to get to share that with you if it calls to you. So again, link for that is in the description. With that being said, let's dive into your reading to see what's in store for your finances this holiday season. Okay, pile one. So right off the bat, the guidance is already coming so clear through here for you. So this is a fantastic start. And we're going to pull some more cards in a moment. But what's already coming through here on this first card, the one that really called to you, is I'm seeing that this holiday season, and it might be because you're around friends or family or reconnecting with people you haven't seen in a while. It might be that, uh, you know, there's, there's some different things happening in your career or professional life, but something is going to happen that's going to allow you to start to melt away either a block that's in the way from you getting to that next level of abundance that you desire or melt away some debt. I'm sensing that a fair amount of you who picked this pile might have some sort of debt or money owed somewhere that has maybe, I don't want to say has been haunting you, but has really been hanging around, has seemed a little bit hard to pay off or get rid of, or you've maybe procrastinated on taking care of. And if it's not that, like I said, also just getting that guidance of like some blocks, whether they're external limitations or more internal limitations, but I just see a lot of the, I don't want to call it negative things, but a lot of those less desirable aspects around money for you are going to start to melt away, or at least you're going to be given an opportunity for them to be resolved, to be start to thaw out and melt away. So that's the first thing I'm seeing here. Let's grab some more cards to expand on this message for you. All right. So what else? I don't want you to hear. Tell us more, Source, about this opportunity for things to melt away. I almost had some come out with this card. All right, let's see what other messages we have for you here. We have turning inward. I'll put this right here. We have the unknown. We have ringing the bells. And we have star. Make sure I get these all on screen for you. We might have to do a different layout. These are really big cards. <laughs> Let's go like this. This is good. All right. So what I'm seeing here, pile one already, is again, when we look at our turning inward card, what I'm seeing more here is there's a part of you that has been clinging on to whatever is melting away. So the blocks or the debt, what, whichever or both that it is for you, there's a part of you that's been clinging to it. And there's going to be this opportunity for you to really turn inward and lay that part of you to sleep. Let that part of you rest to finally heal or release the part of you that's holding on to almost the self-sabotaging block or level of debt that you have. Um, and this, you know, I don't want to sound insensitive here because I'm very aware, especially if you have debt or some block that you're aware of in some way around money. I know most people do things and they try to pay it off or it's, it just feels impossible or like an uphill battle. This is more like there's something within you that you have been subconsciously allowing to hold on to the block or the debt that you have. And I, this is pretty common, right? Like oftentimes when we've taken on debt or we have some sort of story around money that's blocking it from coming into us in the way we want, uh, usually that debt or that block appeared in some way to serve us in the past, right? I know I personally, in my business, in my personal life at times, have taken on loans or debt in order to pay for something that was positive and that opened doors for me. But then after a while carrying the debt and continuing to make interest payments on it and just general you know, principal payments, after a while that no longer served me. And so, but I... I, I have seen in the past, right, holding on to that debt longer than I needed to or longer than I really should have if I had just prioritized paying it off. Or with blocks, this happens all the time. I've seen this so much with clients. I see it within myself, right? It's very human nature to 
maybe have made up a story around money in the past around like, oh, money, you know, I have to work really hard to make money. Like maybe you were in a season where you were newer in an industry and you needed to gain some experience in order to be able to earn more. And so that's just one example of how that story might've helped you at some point. But I get the sense that now you're at a point where whatever the debt helped pay for, or allowed you to do, or whatever the, the story is that you have that's blocking money, at one point, it it did help you, right? It did help you. It was a positive thing you needed to assume that debt or that block, or that story, I should say at the time, in order to move forward with your finances at that point in time. But you've now gone past that. You need to really look inward, and you're going to be presented with a really, really strong opportunity for you, Pile One, this holiday season. Again, I get the sense this might come from being around your family members or something like that, but you're going to be presented with an opportunity or almost like a nudge or a push to look inward and see why have I been holding on to this story and, and or this debt? Why is it not paid off yet? Why do I still hold this? Why is it not the priority? Things like that. And you're going to be invited to, to heal whatever needs to be healed in order to let that go. And this is so beautiful. And honestly, this is so much of what I used to do when I worked m- with more high level private coaching clients in the past in my business around, you know, money mindset and money manifestation was there were so many things that we hold that once served us that no longer do and are actually holding us back. So you're going to be invited to really heal that this, this holiday season. And and as we kind of near the end of the year, you will probably need to do some sorts of modalities. I'm getting with this card to really get rid of that story or block or debt or really shift your mindset so that you can prioritize paying off the debt or whatever it is that needs to be let go of and shifted, you're probably going to need to do some pretty intentional work with that. Like this, I get the sense that what needs to be released is one of your biggest blocks or, you know, a big amount of debt that you really need to, uh, (laughs) you really need to give some oomph and attention to as you're letting it go. It's not just a little thing that you can kind of just bring your attention to and go, oh yeah, I'm still holding on to that story. I'll just let it go by. This seems pretty deep rooted. So I get the sense you're going to really need to, to do some work. I get sense deep journaling work, deep inner child healing work, um, whatever it is. It doesn't have to take a long time, but it needs to be some pretty in-depth work, right? Um, but the good news is that as you do that, as you do this work, you're going to, you're going to start to get glimpses of a whole new kind of reality for you, a new path forward for you. I feel like your intuition is going to be very strong as you start to do this healing work to let go of the stories or the, the conditions that you've put on things that are preventing you from melting this debt or blocks. As you do that, you're going to start to feel like you are very intuitively led. I'm seeing this with the star card. And very intuitively led, you're going to see that, you know, like you're going to know just intuitively what you need to do to release this. You're going to know, and it's it's going to seem so simple, so don't overlook it, but you're going to know what you need to do in order to let this go. And you're going to know next steps. So maybe you just kind of get that intuitive hit to be like, you know what? I really need to create a budget so that I can prioritize paying off this debt. Or maybe it's like, I really need to go deep into some inner child work or some, you know, I need to talk to my therapist and go deeper into this one part of my childhood. And I just know that's what needs to happen. It also might be something that seems on its face really simple. Like, you know, I think I just need to, uh, watch this one YouTube video I saw, or I need to, uh, you know, go ask my friend how they, you know, kind of paid down that debt or what, what they did to clear that story. I know they had around money a while ago. Like there's going to be something that feels really simple and maybe even feels like it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's going to start this kind of almost avalanche that's going to allow this block, this debt to start to clear, to melt away. But as you start to do this, as you start to follow these kind of intuitive little hits that you get to start to release this story or this debt or whatever it is, what's going to happen is you're going to start to see this whole new world open up. You're going to start to see so much more possibility for yourself. And it's, it really feels to me like you're going to start entering. If you really allow yourself to go with this and look inward and really start to create some sort of plan or do some inner work to heal or release this debt or this block, you're going to start to really enter into 2024. I get the sense into this new year with so much, just like possibility ahead of you. And it might seem, honestly, Pylon might feel a little bit intimidating at times. It might be a little overwhelming because you're like, 
in some ways I get the sense like you might not even know who you are without this debt or this block. And that sounds silly to say, because of course we, we think, oh, I know who I am without debt. But when we've carried debt for a long time or we've carried a limiting story for a long time, we often will start to identify with that, whether consciously or not. And that becomes part of our identity, becomes part of who we are. And so then when you're starting to chip away at that or remove that or melt, let that melt away, there might be parts of you that are like, I don't know who I am anymore. And it's not safe to let go of that identity because that's who I am. And if I'm not always identifying with the sense of, oh, I have debt or, oh, I have to work so hard to make money, then who am I and how does life look like? Like you might have some kind of overwhelm around that. But what source really wants you to know right now that this is actually a really amazing opportunity. You're being divinely led. The, the path is being illuminated for you. you. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your guides. Turn inward. Heal whatever needs to be healed. Release what needs to be released in order to let go of this block, let go of this debt, solve it, prioritize it, and start to make progress on it. And you're going to see that so much possibility opens up to you and you can become so much wealthier in this new year is really what I'm getting. So it's honestly really exciting energy, really expansive energy that I'm seeing for you, Pile 1, around the holidays. But like I said, it's all going to start with some opportunity. Something's going to happen where you're going to be invited. It might feel a little jostling at first. It might feel a little uncomfortable, but you're going to be invited. It might be you know a fight with a family member. It might be just kind of some introspection that just kind of triggers you a little bit. It doesn't, I don't get the sense it's going to be really bad. It just might be a little jarring at first. Um, but there's going to be something that happens that if you're looking for it and if you're receptive to it is going to invite you to look inward, to start to release and make progress towards, you know, melting away debt or blocks that stand in the way of the abundance that you want. And as you do, you're going to, you'll need to do some deep work around it. You'll, but you'll be divinely led. You'll be intuitively led if you listen to your intuition and trust it. And uh, as you do so, don't let yourself be overwhelmed because what's, as that starts to fall away, you might feel a little bit of like, I don't know who I am anymore. Oh my gosh, what, how, how can I even move forward and make progress on this or, you know, like don't let yourself get overwhelmed in the process or as you start to have these old parts of yourself fall away because so much more abundance is available for you. It is such a good thing and it's okay to really embrace the unknown, the void, the depths of things, the in-between state of where you are now and where you're going to be, I see in just a few months from now, if you allow yourself to, to do this. So that is your reading, Pile One. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you want to dive deeper into the new energetics of wealth that are emerging in the world, definitely go check out the Absolute Abundance Transmissions in the link in the description below before the price goes up or spots run out. Um, but I hope, like I said, that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future card readings, channeled messages, and other spiritual tips and tools for manifesting money. And of course, make sure to like this video and let me know in the comments what resonated with you, how this all goes for you. Let me know how you feel about all this. If you already know what that block is or what the debt is that needs to be cleared or, you know, you've already kind of started looking inward, I'd love to get to connect with you there in the comments. And otherwise, I'm wishing you a very joyful and abundant holiday season. And I will see you in another video very soon. Bye. Hello, pile number two. You picked the Gatherings card and the Green Adventuring Crystal Point. Now, before we dive into your reading, I have a very exciting announcement that I'm just overjoyed to share with you. And that is that I recently opened up pre-sale for my new Absolute Abundance offering. So this is a set of four incredibly potent channeled messages from source around the frequency of money and how it is currently shifting. And with those four channeled messages, those four transmissions, I'm also including four exclusive card readings that's similar to this card reading, but more in depth that will give you more practical steps on how you can take those, the, the transmissions, the information in those channeled messages and really truly master wealth and the frequency of absolute abundance in this new era that humanity is moving into right now. And the best part is that this offer, Absolute Abundance, is 75% off through December 24th. So spots are limited, and after the 24th, the price doubles. So the link for that, for Absolute Abundance, is in the description box below. I would be so honored to get to share that with you if it calls to you. With that being said, 
let's dive into your reading to see what's in store for your finances this holiday season. All right, so this is always this is such a beautiful card to see around the holidays, and already we have some guidance here for you. So we'll pull more cards in a moment, pile two, but what I already see off the bat with this gatherings card for you is, of course, as the name suggests, some sort of holiday gatherings. This might be an office party. This might be something with friends, with family. Um, it could be, I get the sense that it'll be, regardless of the size, it's going to feel very intimate or you're going to have some intimate things at this event, meaning like you're going to have really deep conversation with people who feel really connected to the people that you're with. I honestly, I'm getting the sense, I know this is a money reading, in the sense that for some of you, there might be a new love interest or a new love taking root at this event. That's just a side message for you from source. Take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't, or maybe you're deepening your current um, relationship with somebody, whether that's romantic or not. But I get the sense of like one specific relationship popping up at this gathering that um, is going to allow you to deepen your connection with somebody. For some of you, it might be in that romantic sense. So that's very exciting. Regardless, that's just kind of that little side message that Source was pinging me with, so I wanted to share with you. But when it comes to your finances, I'm seeing that this gathering, or there might be a handful of gatherings that you're going to, that tends to happen around the holiday season, but it's going to be one specific gathering that you go to or that you're at least invited to, even if you don't take it up on, but I source is highly recommending that you go if it feels any anywhere in the ballpark of alignment for you to do so. So that there's going to be this gathering where you are going to have the opportunity to give to others, right? To, um, it's not necessarily charity, but it's, it's a lot of giving back, right? Like I'm seeing a lot of there's going to be a lot of joy that you take in giving to others. Um, and I see this in the, in the material sense, right? So either financially, this could be like a gala or a charity event that you're going to and you're donating. Um, I also see that uh, it could be more of like giving gifts, right? This is traditional holiday stuff, giving gifts. But there's going to be something really, really magical in, um, in, in something that you're getting the opportunity to give. And what's really cool about this is that Source is saying that as you take this up, so like, you know, you might, this this could be like a gift exchange. This could be a secret Santa thing, a white elephant party. It could be, like I said, like a, maybe you're going to some sort of charity event or um, maybe you're volunteering your time at an event. Aside from there being some really amazing personal connections and deepening of those connections that we talked about a moment ago at that event, there's also going to be this opportunity for you to like give a gift, give some money, give in some way like that on a material level that is going to truly change someone's life. And even if you're like, I'm, yeah, I'm going to like a secret, secret Santa and the gift limit is 20 bucks, you know, limit on the, on the gift. How is that going to change someone's life? If I just give them like this calendar or something, but it's like, it, it it's going to feel like the smallest thing to you, but it's going to be so huge for that other person. And I see that what's so beautiful about this is in the new year, there's going to be some sort of result of you giving, whether directly or indirectly to that person or, from like the organization that, you know, facilitated this event, um, there's going to be something that happens that that what you gave comes back to you tenfold. It comes back more mirroring like the value or the transformation you gave somebody else. So that's really exciting to see. We're going to pull some more cards here, but that's already just such this beautiful energy of like, you're going to just have so much love around you this holiday season. You're going to have such an abundance of that. And that plays a huge role in our energy of wealth and, uh, and just, you know, abundance in all forms in our lives. But there's going to be some sort of opportunity probably at a gathering, um, where you're going to have that opportunity to give a gift to somebody, whether it's money or, a, you know, an object or, uh, some other sort of gift that you give where it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily going to be crazy expensive for you to give it, um, but it's going to truly change someone's life. And often this is the energy that that gift carries. It's the intention behind it or just where someone is in their life and, you know, how it helps them. So uh, that's that's really, really exciting to see Pile 2. All right, let's pull some more cards. All right, what else does Pile 2 need to know for this holiday season for their finances? here. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> what did I say? Falling in love. I see some of you falling in love this holiday season. We'll see. This might have something to do more with your finances too. Who knows? But maybe you'll be sharing finances with a partner. Who's to say? Office romance, maybe? <laughs> I'm not, 
I don't typically read for well uh, for uh, love, so we'll see how this plays out for you. This is kind of funny though in my mind. I think I want these laid out this way for you, pile two. All right, so we have we have perseverance, we have ornaments, we have falling in love, we have offerings. So already over here on this side, I, I'm seeing again just kind of confirmation of what I already kind of picked up on with this first card, but we have um, is falling in love, we have that deepening of connection with somebody. I get the sense too that it's like maybe the gift you're gonna give is to someone who you have that special relationship with. And again, this might be platonic love, it might be romantic love, um, but I get the sense that you're going to give something to someone and it's going to be like almost like giving your heart in a way. Again, if this isn't like a romantic love for you, that's okay. It's just like, I feel like you're going to give a gift that comes from your heart and that the fact that it comes from your heart is going to mean so much to this person. It's going to deepen your relationship with them or just, just deepen their sense of feeling loved in the world in general. Um, there's going to be so much gratitude, so much thankfulness for it. Um, they are people, this person or, you know, someone near to them or the organization that they're from or something that is going to want to give back to you down the road because of, there's going to be some sort of ripple effect. And if, it, if not directly from that person, it's going to come karmically later on. Like this is such a beautiful opportunity you're being presented with to give and in giving we often receive. So that's incredibly beautiful. We also have, like I said, over here, we have ornaments and we have perseverance. I get the sense pile too. There's almost, um, I don't want to say a sadness about you this holiday season, but there's a kind of gravity this holiday season for you. Um, I Some of you might have lost someone close to you since last holiday season, and so that's might be weighing on you to have your first holiday alone without them. Um, there might be just more kind of like, maybe there was, I guess, a sense of a loss. It might have been of a person, and I, I don't get the sense that it just happened. I It might have happened earlier this year. Um, I get the sense, or it might have been, you know, the loss of a job, the loss of finances, maybe. There's some sort of loss that um, is still weighing on you. And as, I guess, since as you go to this gathering, you might be reminded of this person or this thing or this opportunity or this job that you lost. Maybe you already know how that's going to show up, or it might just be you go and you see someone who looks like that person, or you just, you know, go to see someone who reminds you of that old job you had or whatever it was. Um, there was something you lost. Maybe you even walked away from it too. I'm not getting a sense it was necessarily taken from you. It could have been. I do get the sense that's some the case for some of you, but for some of you, I think this, this was something you even walked away from and it's felt hard. It's felt hard regardless of how it happened or when. It's felt hard for you to continue on with this. And I think this uh, holiday season is bringing up some of that for you. Uh, and what you'll find though is as you go to this gathering, as you give this gift, Again, you're going to be bringing so much of your heart to it, um, and it almost feels like an offering, an homage, a kind of honoring of what you lost and of you now moving on. Um, and it's, again, there's so much almost delicate love yet strength in you, and you're going to really be bringing that forth in this gift giving that you're going to be doing. And oh my goodness, um, it's going to heal you. It's going to heal, like giving this gift, seeing how much it helps someone is going to heal you and heal, you know, this, this part of you that's been kind of feeling very heavy, very weighed down, uh, either this year or especially here around the holiday season. So that's really beautiful. That's truly beautiful. A lot of transformation for you. It just, it feels easy. Also sources saying, um, if there has been this heaviness for you, if that's resonating, uh, it, this, this is kind of the end of that, at least that level of heaviness and going to this gathering. I guess some of you might have been invited to something or will be invited to a gathering and you're like, I'm not going to go. The holidays are hard for me. I'm not going to go. Source is saying, check in with yourself and see if, if it feels in any way aligned to go because you're kind of being nudged to go. If it feels even just the glimmer of excitement about it or the glimmer of intuitive alignment with it, um, don't let your, your sadness or your heaviness outweigh the uh the possibility here because in going to this gathering if it's aligned for you and giving a gift um even if it's not something you like really thought of but giving it with so much love and so much tenderness and so much um I almost feel like veneration of what was lost or what you're moving on from uh 
you're going to heal yourself in doing that. The act of giving will help you heal. And in doing that, you're going to change someone else's life. You're going to deepen your connection with somebody. uh, And you are going to see that come back to you in the new year tenfold. So very beautiful reading. A little sad. Like my heart, I can feel the ache in your your heart or the the heaviness that you're carrying is what Source is is showing to me right now for you, Pile 2. And, um, but there's just... There's so much love around you. There's so much abundance around you. And Source just wants you to know how loved you are and that you've been strong and that if you if you choose to move forward this holiday season with love in your heart, no matter how much that might hurt or it might feel heavy or like you're weary, uh, it's going to be so rewarding for you. Uh, so yeah, really beautiful. All right, pile two, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to... Really dive deeper into the energetics of wealth, the new energetics that are emerging in the world at this time and have been for the last few years and will continue to for the next years and and decades to come. Uh, Definitely go check out the Absolute Abundance Transmission set that is in the link in the description below before the price goes up or spots run out in just uh, a little over a week from now. And of course, if you did enjoy this reading, I would love to hear what resonated about it with you in the comments. I would love to hear how all of this goes if you think to come back and share that with me. And of course, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future card readings, channeled messages, and other spiritual tips and tools for manifesting money. And with that being said, I will talk to you in another video very soon. Bye. Hello, pile number three. You picked the reindeer medicine card and the smoky quartz crystal. Now, before we dive into your reading, I have a very exciting announcement that I've just been like waiting to share with you. So I recently opened up pre-sale for my new absolute abundance offering. Now, this is a set of four incredibly potent channeled messages from source around the frequency of money and how it is currently shifting in our reality. And I'm speaking here from astrological and human design terms. And now with this set of four transmissions, these four channeled messages inside of Absolute Abundance, I'm also including four exclusive card readings, similar to this, but more in depth, that will help give you more practical steps that you can take to truly master wealth and the frequency of absolute abundance in this new era that humanity is moving into. And, you know, we've seen a lot of this with AI disrupting jobs, with, uh, you know, just inflation going up, the housing market doing insane things, the crypto market doing crazy things in the last several years. And this tumultuous kind of financial evolution of the landscape of money is going to continue evolving for years to come. And uh, there's this new frequency around wealth that's emerging that we're being invited to step into in order to master money and ride these waves of economic flux in the years to come. So um, that's what this offer Absolute Abundance is all about. And the best part is that Absolute Abundance is 75% off through December 24th because it's on pre-sale. So spots are limited. And after the 24th, the price doubles. So the link for Absolute Abundance, those transmissions is in the description box below. I would be honored to get to share that with you if it calls to you. Now, with that being said, let's dive into your reading and see what is in store for your finances this holiday season. So right off the bat, pile three, I have such an exciting message for you. So with this card, immediately I knew, even when I like had this at the beginning of this video, I was biting my tongue, trying not to say anything (laughs) as I was letting you pick your cards because I didn't want to sway anyone's uh, selection. But oh my gosh, this card was so exciting for me to see. Immediately, I got this very clear message that you, Pile 3, this holiday season, are going to have some sort of spiritual awakening. And you are going to find new spiritual gifts awakening within you. And if you already have so many spiritual gifts, I get the sense that some of you watching this have a lot of spiritual gifts. You're like, I have enough. Uh, This spiritual gift that's going to be emerging for you is going to be, and this is true for everyone, is going to be something that you're going to be able to monetize or it's going to lead you to money in some way this coming year. And that's incredibly exciting. I mean, I'm a sucker for, I love, clearly, clearly with what I'm doing here, I love sharing my spiritual gifts with the world. I love getting to be compensated from from them and get to do what I feel like I'm truly here on earth to do as my my living, right? My way of making money. And um, 
and also, you know, leaving an impact on the world. And so you're going to have something that emerges, even if you already get paid for your spiritual gifts, you're going to have a new one emerging. And that's so incredibly exciting. So we're going to pull some more cards because I want to get some more clarity on this for you, see if there's anything else coming through. But that's so exciting. I get the sense that something is going to happen this holiday season. Uh, I guess this is going to be a big event, something unexpected that's going to cause you to have this kind of spontaneous spiritual awakening. Uh, yeah, that's going to be, oh, it's so powerful. I can't, okay, I want, I want to pull more cards, but I'm just sitting in the energy of this and I'm like, this is amazing. All right, so let's see what else. Let's get more about the spiritual awakening for pile three. There's one of your cards. And let's find out anything else that needs to come through for pile three. I have these for you. All right, I want to see this card that flipped over first. Family. Ooh, ah, uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna pull more cards. I, I think this one's gonna, yeah, okay, there it is. That's making sense, we're just gonna lay them all out. Okay, beautiful. All right, my dear pile threes. So I get the sense that the spiritual gift that's awakening is going to do with collapsing time is the message I'm getting through here. It might be this ability to kind of start quantum leaping more freely, especially around your finances, quantum leaping into new levels of wealth. I also get the sense though that this is going to be something with um, past lives, with with ancestors. You're going to be, even if you already are very connected with your ancestors, with your past lives, I see over here so much either new ways that that's going to emerge or this completely just emerging for you if you're like, I don't feel like I have any connection to my ancestors or I don't feel like I have any connection to past lives of mine or anything like that, that's unlocking for you. And if, like I said, if it's already unlocked for you, you're going to, it's, it's going to come through in a different way, maybe a different modality, different, um, tools for it, or just in a completely like, you know, right now, maybe you always hear your answers. You might ancestors, you might start seeing them, right? Um, maybe you have had visions of your past life in the past. Now you're going to start to um, have more knowing about it or hear more about it, right? Like I just get a sense like different clairs are being activated around these sorts of things. So really, really exciting. <laughs> That's, this is so fun. I love that sort of stuff. Like I love spiritual gifts awakening. That's always, I don't know. I love that stuff. I'm guessing if you're here, you love that too. So I get the sense that there's going to be um, some gifts you have that allow you to, when we say collapse time, we often think, right, of collapsing time in the sense of um, quantum leaping into the future and new levels of wealth. That is part of this, but it's more, that's more of like the ripple effect result of the fact that you're going to be able to actually start to uncover more generational wounds around money or things that happen that need to be healed in order for you and your, you know, descendants or other family members right now that are alive to step into more abundance. So there's going to be a lot of healing. There's going to be a lot of love that comes through from this. Um, I sense you also getting closer to your family. Also, we, you know, we have the self car here, self car, <laughs> self care card here. And, um, this is really what's coming through with this is it's like, you are, breaking generational wounds down. You are breaking those patterns. You're breaking those generational, um, blocks, everything like that. And you are, you're, you're kind of like, you're, you're the person who's being called forth to do it. There might be some self-doubt we have, if not me, then who, right. But I get the sense that there might be some self-doubt for you that, uh, that you're like, who am I to do this? Or even doubting in what you see or hear or sense about your past lives or past, uh, ancestors. But sources like you're, you are the one meant for this. You're meant for this. There's going to be just so much healing that gets to happen, right? That is going to unlock more abundance for you in the future. And that it's, you know, in being able to go back into your past lives, into your ancestors' lives, things like that, and heal any wounds that need to be healed around money, you'll collapse time going backwards in that way, right? And then that collapses time moving forward and shifts you into a new timeline, shifts you into a new level of wealth faster. So this is really monumental stuff for you. I feel like this is going to be something you look back on in years to come and be like, man, that was really a turning point. It was like the holiday season of this year. Uh, and I just remember those gifts coming out of nowhere or just, you know, those new abilities popping up or those new interests of mine in learning more about my family or my 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 family tree and going back and researching that and understanding more, like you're going to see this start to manifest for you very soon. And it's, that's really exciting. I think some of you have already started to see these new gifts awaken. And if you have, I would recommend directing them to your past lives or your ancestors, if that feels aligned to you. 
really exciting. Now, as you do this, right, I get the sense there's going to be a lot of gratitude coming from your ancestors, your past selves. I feel like a lot of karma is clearing with this. A lot of your soul's karma, a lot of the lessons that your soul came here to learn are finally being learned. Um, I get so much gratitude from your ancestors. So much gratitude also just from the people, the family around you, the people around you, because as you heal this, it's going to help them and you're just going to become a much more embodied, much more empowered, much more fully you version of you. And people are going to love that and just being around that even more. There's so much gratitude for you for doing this work from source, from your ancestors, from your family that's around you now, from your past selves, from your future selves. Like there's just gratitude in every which way coming for you as you embark on this work. So source is really saying, do this work, do this, embrace this gift. Don't be afraid of it. Yes, it might be a little uncomfortable. Yes, it might hurt to drag up these generational or past life wounds. Be strong through it. You're capable of doing it. You're the one who's meant to do this. You've got what it takes. You can do it. Be strong. Get support if you need it. Get help from professional if you need it. Whatever needs to happen, but you can do this. Please do it. Because when you do it, people are going to truly, truly, truly be so grateful for you. Now I want to peek. I want to peek a little bit at this description here on the Father Christmas card. How did I get here? Lost perhaps, no worries at all. Gather yourself and clear the frost for the good still lives in you, dear. So again, I think that's just again that, that message from source of you are being held, your angels, your team is holding you, is supporting you. Your ancestors are supporting you as you do this work. Your past self is supporting you. Your future self is supporting you. You are so supported. The people around you are supporting you. You are so loving. You have support in many ways, pile three. And you are going to be so supported, even if it doesn't feel like it at times, you are going to be so divinely held and guided as you use these gifts and turn inward. And then as you do that, like we said, you're going to break down curses, break down curses, maybe curses. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. You're going to break down uh, generational blocks, past life blocks, clear karma around money. And then once you've used this gift to do it, you're then going to go on and be able to use this gift to make money in some way. It might lead you to a job. It might, you know, like breaking down these blocks or healing these wounds might help you, find, you know, then be able to see a job opportunity where there wasn't one. I get a sense though that you're also going to be, if you want to, able to monetize this gift specifically of being able to go back. So you might become a past life healer. You might become a generational facilitator, right? Someone who helps facilitate generational healing for people. Source is saying you don't have to take that route. Not a, That's not for everyone. It's not, it doesn't feel aligned to everyone, but it's available to you if you want it. And that's going to start with this holiday season. You're going to see some stuff awakening. I get the sense too that it might be that as you um, visit with your family, you might be, you know, you, there might be a story that your parents tell of your great grandparents and that kind of all of a sudden you start to feel like this ability to see them or hear them. And, you know, it just like all of a sudden this gift just unlocks. Like, I feel like it's going to come through being around family or thinking about your family, talking with your family, something like that. But something's going to happen unexpected. That's going to kind of spur the spiritual awakening. You spur this awakening of new spiritual gifts within you, specifically, most likely around being able to finally get more in touch with past lives or ancestors or both and heal anything there that's blocking, especially money, but anything else that needs healing. And there's, as you do, the universe is just celebrating the heck out of you, right? Really just celebrating you so much for doing it. So grateful for you for doing it. Um, the people around you, your family, your ancestors, so, so grateful for you. And um, in doing that, you're going to, you're going to find yourself a little bit more and you're going to find your direction in life a little bit more. Like I said, you're going to find some new opportunity for money to come to you and to get into that next level of abundance that you've been looking for, for a while now. Or it might even come by just directly being able to then monetize this gift after you've started to use it on yourself. So yeah, that is your reading pile three. That is so exciting. What exciting energy. Now, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you want to dive deeper into the new energetics of wealth that are emerging in the world, this honestly would be perfect for you if this pile resonated with you because so many of the people who are really truly destined or you know most capable of creating wealth in this new era that humanity is moving into energetically and with this new frequency that governs money that's emerging, the people who are having more spiritual gifts awaken right now and who are clearing that, kar that karma and doing that ancestral work, that is 
those are the people who are really going to be most equipped to thrive in this new era of humanity as we move into a new energetic era. Um, so if you want to dive deeper into that, then definitely go check out the Absolute Abundance Transmissions in the link in the description below before the price goes up or spots run out. Of course, if you enjoyed this, this reading, please let me know in the comments what resonates with, with you. I'm so curious to hear, Pile Three, like, have you felt any spiritual gifts awakening? Have you had that pull to revisit past life or ancestral things? Um, I'm, I'm very curious to hear how this all goes for you. I'm so excited for you. Of course, please be sure to like this video, comment below with what you enjoyed about it. Let me keep me up to date with this stuff if you think to, and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future card readings, meditations, channel messages, and other spiritual tips and tools for manifesting money. And with, uh, with that being said, I'll see you in another video very soon. I'm wishing you a very joyful and prosperous holiday season. Bye.